Hi Cancer, how are you? Welcome to Karma Light Readings. I'm Alexandra, also known as Karma. This is going to be your energy check-in for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for June 2021. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to come to my channel. <clears throat> if you're new here, please make sure you subscribe. Make sure you guys hit that like bell if this resonates for you. Um, before we get started, I have two candles here from my candle line, which is called Find Your Light. These are not spell candles and they are not manifestation or intention candles. These are prayer healing candles that are designed to align you with your purpose, bring you closer to God, um, and help you find your light. So um, it's more like ascension on your spiritual journey. Um, this candle is for your third eye chakra. It's called Clear Vision, okay? So it does help with strengthening your third eye, strengthening your intuition. This one is Clear Shadow. This is for shadow work. <clears throat> so it helps to bring to surface any wounds or traumas that you may be unaware of, things that you may need to repent for. All candles are made with soy wax, essential oils and crystals that are um, specific to that chakra and or trauma that you are looking to heal. And they will also each come with a scripture verse located on the label that you can pray and meditate on uh, to activate the candle. So if that's something that you're interested in, the link to buy those is in the description box below. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get into it and see what you have for June 2021. <clears throat> We're going to start with my blessing. If I pause at any time during my blessing, please know it's because I'm placing my intentions on the cards. Mother, Father, God, Holy Spirit, thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel of receiving messages for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus <clears throat> in regards to their current life, journey, life path, and soul purpose in June 2021. I ask that these messages provide clarity, guidance, healing, and understanding, as well as a higher knowledge and perspective on what soul lessons and soul cycles cancer may currently be going through, about to go through, need to become aware of, learn from, heal from, and release. <clears throat> Lord, in all that you are and all that you do, in all that I am and all that I do. I live by your word and your word only. In Yeshua name I pray, amen. Okay, so let's see what we have coming for you, Cancer. Holy Spirit, what is the light energy surrounding Cancer for June 2021? The light energy surrounding Cancer for June 2021. growth okay growth heart chakra energy here with green <clears throat> bottom of the deck consciousness nice cancer okay so gaining that balance getting into the in-between here becoming aware and awake you're evolving here at a rapid pace okay so some of you may feel like you've been on a roller coaster ride lately <clears throat> I feel that this is you expanding your heart chakra, allowing love to come in more. You're becoming more aware of um, how to give and receive love, aware of how you want to receive love or give love in your life, where you want to continue watering in your garden and where you need to pull up some weeds, okay? You're seeing things from a very high perspective at this time, Cancer. What do they need to know? Holy Spirit, what does Cancer need to know? I feel that this is, um, for those of you watching this, you're very awakened. You're very connected. You are aware of the type of journey um, that you are on. Okay, you have co-create. Yeah, you're working with God here, co-create. You know that you are not in full control of your life. You understand um, the wisdom that you need, the connection with the divine that you need. Um, you understand that God is the creator and that you are the co-pilot, the co-creator. You're now ready to work with him to see what he has prepared for you. Unfinished symphony. Yeah, you are a work in progress and that's so beautiful. There's something 
that still that may be returning from your past some some type of ending took place it's coming back around there's you're not done with this person or this situation okay there's going to be a lot of growth here or this person will recognize growth within you i feel that this is somebody wanting to come back though and, and want to in a, in a physical sense in a 3d sense we know that you're co-creating with god but there's a situation that's coming back um with somebody who's wanting to put in more effort or grow with you. They they want to co-create with you now. They want to work with you now. They want to be a team player. Where I feel like maybe in the past they were not, okay? You have 40 and 10. So 10 is a cycle ending and a new cycle beginning. Number one, yeah. And you also have the number four. So you're seeking stability. Um, you're becoming in alignment with your purpose. That's why you have consciousness here. You're going to learn a lesson or you're going to finalize a lesson with this particular situation this month, Cancer. Something's going to become um, aware. You're going to be made aware of something. You're going to understand something that you've been seeking clarity on. Okay. Holy Spirit, tell me about Unfinished Symphony, please, for Cancer. What is this Unfinished Symphony in regards to... Ten of Pentacles. Wow, a very strong connection. This could be with a family member, Cancer, or with some, it's with your soulmate, Two of Cups. So this connection is not over. This connection is not over. This is somebody coming back into your life, Cancer. Okay, they're wanting to work on this. They're wanting to build on this with you. There's been a lot of growth here. They've become aware of what this connection is to them. This could have been like a marriage. You, you could have been married to somebody. It was a very, very strong um, connection relationship here, Cancer. They're coming back around. This is this is what you're going to be experiencing this month is, is learning how to co-create, learning how to find that balance and to grow in a relationship, right? Because we don't ever stay stagnant. We're constantly, constantly growing. So let's see here. Holy Spirit, how does cancer get to this? What do they need to do or be focused on this month in regards to this situation? Guidance on what they need to be doing or working on, please. Six of Cups, Cancer, who is this? You could have a child with this person, soulmate. This is a definite missing somebody. Focus on those good times. Focus on that love, okay? Nine of Wands. Yes, you have been through a lot with this person or this situation. This is a soulmate, so we're just, this is a love reading. You've been through a lot. You're nervous about some of the things. I think sometimes the depth of your love for this person could be very overwhelming for you, Cancer, as well as them. Okay, but I feel like you still want to give it a try. But you're just, you're tired because I feel like you guys went through a lot. Yeah, you did. You went through a lot here. Nine of Swords. There's a lot of anxiety surrounding this situation for you. Knight of Swords. But it's coming in very quickly. Okay, it is coming in very quickly. You have the seven of cups on the bottom. So you might feel overwhelmed. You might get lost in the fantasy of this situation. Okay. Um, you might get lost in the fantasy of the situation. Let's see if we can get some more um, on the guidance here. Let me just look at these for a minute. You're needing to take things slow. I do feel like something's going to come rushing into you very unexpectedly. They are going to be saying things that you've been wanting to receive clarity on. And this is the time for you to show your growth instead of rushing into something because I feel like that's how this crumbled in the past. That's why it's unfinished. It was built on unstable grounds in the past. And so this lesson, this growth is to learn how to build something together that becomes stable because there's a lot of love here and so while you're really nervous about how things went in the past and there was this ending and it was kind of big and it felt somebody felt betrayed or you know lied to or not being told the truth so this time around spirit is telling you you know to be wise use your discernment in this situation be cautious but to give it a chance 
okay? Um, so let's see, Holy Spirit, please clarify the Seven of Cups. What does the Seven of Cups represent for Cancer? Five of Swords, yeah. You just feel like you don't know everything. You're still willing to pick up and start over. You are going to be receiving some answers regarding lack of communication or ghosting, or there could have been some really hard, harsh words here. But things are going to seem all over the place, but this, this does want to be solved. I feel like somebody's trying to figure out how, okay? So the overall energy that you need to be aware of this month is somebody is trying to figure out how can they come forward and get you guys out of this five of swords energy. So they're going to make a return and they're kind of doing it abruptly because they're just going on a whim. But there is this fear of like you not connecting with what they're saying, not wanting anything to do with it. It's because you're going to choose to take things slow. That is the right thing to do. That does show your growth because in turn, they're going to have to raise their vibration then to, to meet with you in order for this to work. Do you know what I'm saying? All right, my loves, that is your quick June check-in. I hope you guys are doing well, and I look forward to seeing you and hearing from you again. Bye.